Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and uh, this is a sixth part for React, Redux, and Java tutorial. And here we will talk about a reducer. So we will cover this part in three sections. First one will be theoretical. Then we will uh, understand reducer with the help of diagram, and then we will jump on the practical example. All right. So first of all, let's understand what is reducer. See, reducer is basically handle data for a Redux store. Let's say you want to save some data inside the Redux store, or you want to delete some data, or want to update uh, the data. That time, Redux will handle this all procedures. Like it will get data from uh, action, then it will filter out that data. It will check that I have to uh, add the data, or I have to delete, or I have to uh, uh, update the data uh, inside the uh, Redux store and uh, after that that data will be saved in the inside the redux store and uh, from store we can get this data to the any component of our react application there is some uh, you can say that thumb rules or protocol for uh, reducer inside the uh, redux first one is we need a root reducer what is root reducer c in our react js application maybe we have more than one reducers but store can only accept one reducer you can see that in diagram uh, store is interacting with only the one reducer so if we have multiple reducers then we have to combine them in a single reducer and we call it root reducer this is not a huge logic this is very simple line of code uh, four or five line of code that's it right and uh, with the help of these four or five lines of code we can make a uh, root reducer second rule is uh, reducer must have to return some value otherwise it will throw any error and at the last in reducer we must have to provide some initial values right so now let's understand that uh, what is actually reducer with the help of diagram see uh, in last part you uh, we understand that uh, in a view we we can may have uh, multiple uh, components let's say component 1 2 3 4 five or six right and in component one we may have add to cart a button and whenever you will click on that button it will call uh, any action and action will basically uh, interact the react let me just put it this is here react with redux right so we get the data inside the redux here but now we have to send this uh, action data to the reducer so that reducer can decide that what it have to do with this data it have to add in the store it have to remove from the store it have to update update the store it will decide the reducer and we may have more than one reducer so let's say we have one two and three reducer we will combine all these reducer in a root reducer and it will send this data to the store and it could be uh, save data delete update anything with uh, will do with the help of reducer and then we uh, if we have some data inside this store we can get it in the any component in component 2 component 3 5 4 we can get this uh, Uh, add to cart data in any component right so what we will do in that part we will just get uh, we will create a reducer we will get the data from action to the reducer and we will create a root reducer also and we will just complete the action to reducer and redu reducers to uh, store flow so now let's jump on the code so we don't need it so i can just simply close that application So now let's get back to the code editor and uh, here you can see that this is the action file which we created in the last video if you did not watch that video link is given in the description box if you directly just want to learn reducer then you may miss lots of things so i'll request you to watch the complete playlist so let's uh, write some code inside the reducer then we will uh, write some code for root reducer and attach with the store so just create any function so let's say my function name is mm, cart data and it could be uh, 
arrow function or it could be a normal function right and what i'm going to do here i'm just making console dot one and uh, i can simply put here mm -mm, producer called right so we have to export it also export so now our reducer is written so will it called or not uh, so let's check it okay so we got some error there let's refresh okay so data is already there so it will it just takes some time to refresh all right so now let's just open the uh, you can see that console and if i just click on the add to card you can see that action is called but still root reducer is not called why because this is not connected with the action and all and how it could be connect with the action for that we have to connect our reducer and root reducer with the store right how we can connect that uh, first of all we have to create a root reducer our uh, reducer is created so now let's create the root reducer so for that let's import something from redux and what we are importing here we are importing here combine uh, reducer it will combine multiple reducer in a single reducer so let me just put here combine reducer and uh, we can put here all our reducers here so let's say we have 10 reducers so we can just put all 10 reducers there and it will just create a single output from all these uh, reducers right so let's let me just import mm, card data right and we can simply use this card data there so let's say we have one more uh, uh, similar like card data order data so you can put here order data all reducer will be just added inside this combined reducer and we can just export it now export default and now we just uh, need to attach this root reducer with the store so how we can attach it just simply import here root reducer and as i just mentioned in the second part that we just created this dummy reducer we don't need it at all if we have actual uh, root reducer so i am registering this actual reducers there right so now let's get back to the browser you can see that reducer is called here right reducer is called but there is error as i mentioned you there we must have to return something but in our reducer the nothing is actually return so let let's try something return from here return 100 or anything that you want to return and now this is working fine so if i just click on the add to cart you can see that action is called and reducer is called great but now there is a catch see we created the action how this action just get to know that i have to call this reducer actually what actually happened whenever we will hit any action it will call the all reducers but how we will just uh, create any condition or any code of blocks that we want to uh, execute on the uh, on that specific uh, you can say that action so for that you must, what you need to do here you have to provide here some by default or you can say that initial values initial values could be like uh, this for example let data is like this right or but this could be a smaller you can say that uh, mm, 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 mm. way to write that which is uh, just simply put here data we have to register our initial values there right so it could be blank like this and in a second option we have to just import here action and this action basically get data from action.js file and if you print there action you will find that action now you, you can see that what actually you are getting here so let me just click on that button in reducer code you, now you can see that the data type and the actual data we get that get from here right so whenever we will call any action this reducer will definitely call but we have to apply some conditions but we can do that we can just check here if action dot type is 
we can just match a triple equal to add to cart then we have to perform some special logic right so what we can do here now some logic you can see that right and for a moment what we what we can do that we can just simply return here uh, data right else if we don't have action dot this type you can just say return no action called and we don't need this right now you can just format this code perfect so but there is still a issue okay so let's try to just call it you can see that this is still working fine there is a no issue now what you can do that uh, there could be any uh, one issue which is let's say we just misspell this add to cart right now it will not called let me just show you both of these cases uh, let me just put here add to cart condition right whenever I will just click over it you can see that there is a no console from there and if I just simply put here perfect T now code will become with that condition you can see that action is called and uh, okay so my bad actually I just fix this too because this is the condition actually so now you can see that add to cart condition is called but by mistake if we just create any mistake like we just rem uh, we just put here small t or small or something that time it will not called here you can see that right so what we need to do here we can create a common file there right uh, the name of constant and we can just get this uh, type from both file from a single file how we can do that uh, so to remove uh, or avoid these kind of issues so just make a constant dot js and just put here export const and my const name is same as add to cart and its value is add to cart now let's import it the same constant inside reducer and action import this i just need to add to cart and it will automatically import from there right and uh, we can directly check our action type with that constant and same thing we can do with that there also let me just import it add to cart right so if we made any mistake that will be done inside the constant.js and the both have the same constant so there is a no chance of mistake and now you will find that everything is working fine if i just made some mistake inside the constant.js let's say i just put here small t or anything but still it will work fine because in a both file we are importing the same thing right you can see that all right so that's all for this part and uh, in next part i'll tell you that uh, how we can just define here initial value how we can just apply here switch conditions and why we need switch conditions we will learn lots uh, lots of thing and uh, in the slowly slowly we'll just create a complete project we'll create a saga files we will uh, uh, you can say that we will also call apis and all so thank you for watching this part and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and uh, please share your valuable feedbacks in comment box also thank you so much